Hello, Keep It In The Rocks listeners. How are y'all doing today? So today we're going to talk about two different topics. One is how your dating life affects you having a verified page. Two is the reasons why you're single. In this case, Vito Glazer. My name is Mia, your host, and we are here with my lovely friend, Vito Glazer. How are you doing today, Vito Vito? I am amazing, Mia. Thank you so much, first of all, for having me on your beautiful of set course. and your awesome show. Of course. I've been watching all the episodes as they come out. <laughs> I learned how to make a perfect old-fashioned from you. I am Aww. so into your show. It's super cool. So, Good. I think we're having a little meltdown over here. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally going to put that in. <laughs> what just happened? Something uh, fell. It's all right. These things happen. So... So I'm gonna put this right here. Microphone? Yeah. Uh, show must go on. So. Show must go on. <laughs> I was like, wait, is that my earring? Because my earrings kept falling off last night. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, so yeah. let's let's go on with um, how we met. Tell yeah. them how we met because this isn't our first no, encounter. No, no, far from it actually. But uh, we had the pleasure of both being on this hilarious Chinese sitcom, <laughs> Chop Chop TV show. Chop Chop. Filmed TV in Chinatown show. in Chicago. That's right. And I have to say, it was my favorite episode. that I did about, I don't know, I think about 20 episodes of that show. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, I did that. a lot okay. of episodes of that. And then I just remember the one episode we did. Uh, <laughs> this I did not write this episode, by the way. I just, I literally, I showed up and I just did the acting. I just right. went, went off the script. Right. But I believe I was like packaging, packaging you Me. into a box mm-hmm. and shipping you back to the Philippines. If I recall, uh, that's what the script ordered me to of do. Of course, they have to hire me. I'm like this tiny little Filipino girl. I'm like, she's going to fit in that box. Uh, yes. so we have to hire her. And one scene I remember is there's like some socks and you're just like rubbing your feet on my face or something. Yeah. And then yeah. I got caught between you and Mei Ling and you guys are like making out. And I'm like, oh, spicy. Stuck in the I background. might I might put a little clip. Like, on Yeah, you should throw a little clip. Honestly, that's like the clip worth watching. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I'm definitely going to have to put a little clip just so you guys know what we're talking yeah. about. Uh, yeah, because out of context, it sounds so bizarre. Yeah, you guys don't know what we're talking about. But I'm going to definitely yes. put a clip over right So here. long story short, that's how we met. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think I seen you again after no. that for like five or no. five years. We really least. didn't see each other after like yeah, five years and then that's just how I we actually sh- we actually attended this event together and yes i was like Vita. i was just oh so excited gosh. i was yeah. like dude well we're both kind of characters right so we yeah. both kind of like stand out and there was like a thousand people at this <laughs> event and yeah you know i, I don't want to say that asian people look similar but i was like asian sometimes people definitely look similar sometimes i mean it's the same thing with asian white people yeah, yeah. to yeah. asians right yeah so okay i, cool. I feel like all white look the same yeah. so i get it so either way the point of that was though is i see you and i'm like that is a unique, I'm like, that is an Asian person that I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that is Mia Gray. <laughs> and then I think you kind of had the same reaction. You were like, that's a white boy that I know. Yes, that looks like I do. I mean, me. look at his face. <laughs> so, he has this very distinct you know, face. Like, yes. you will know if it's him from miles away. It's the hairline and the teeth and everything. It's just like, uh, it's just a total package. It's like, you know, you either sign up for it or you don't. <laughs> right, right. Let's, so, let's, let's talk about the first topic. Yes. You have a verified page. I do. Fuck, I do work on that okay yes yeah. please okay i'll give you my contact later and we can work on it I'm anyways work on that. Yeah. you have a verified page okay. and a very fine page we start talking about me being filipino and i start having accent <laughs> <laughs> well we, we we should tell them what we were talking about filipinos just to put it into context too because i said uh basically filipino is like the ideal female right filipino women is like the top shelf female because you basically get like the asian looks and skin and hair with the latina body mm-hmm. and then like the american personality yeah so it's kind of like it's like, a, like a little melting pot in there it's very like a little bit here a little yeah, bit there very unicorn yeah uh, female so uh filipino you know, women are a little crazy though shout out to the filipino Sometimes ladies i love them i love you guys but we are crazy and i Uh-oh. at least i admit it well crazy enough to do a podcast with me so I'm yeah that. <laughs> so all right let's go yeah. to the verified page okay you want to talk about i do Instagram so yeah. i do i okay. i want to know how it's affecting your dating life because let's let's talk about relationship status sure. are you single taken definitely single okay. uh, by choice gratefully single by choice i love being single um, okay I, I, I maybe had like a i had a one-year relationship uh, about maybe a year or two ago okay um and it was great and i enjoyed the experience very much yeah and i also it just wasn't meant to be i have a lot of respect for the girl and we both are still friends um, yeah. but i just love I cherish my alone time, and I'm really, mm-hmm. like, into my career. Right. Uh, things are starting to really blow up for me, and it's, like, I kind of have defined of what I would, like, who I would like to date, mm-hmm. and I've, you know, throughout life, like, 
kind of who you need changes throughout your life, right? Yeah, so, it does. Um, I think for women, you know, they're looking for like somebody, to, initially it's like somebody to have a child with, build a family with, and then after that it's like maybe somebody to like travel and explore and enjoy right. life with. Right. And for me, it's kind of like, or for men even, um, especially successful men, it's kind of like if, and I'm self-made, so you know, I had to really like real self-made, by the way, yeah, you guys. Like, I know there's a, you know the right. story, right? Like I'm straight right. up from the streets of Chicago, and now I'm in Hollywood doing it big, you know. Right. So um, super grateful. That's for why the I haven't process. seen him. Yes, that's what you know. I'm sure most actors who would have met you on a set would be like all in your DMs, being like, "Oh Where yeah, are you he, at? Are you he left like, me. He's like, you moved to LA, <laughs> and it's like gone." <laughs> so um, you know, I just keep it real, and I just tell girls, you know. I really have these big goals, mm -hmm. and if you're not gonna like help me get there, yeah. and if your goals aren't aligned with mine, yeah. then why even waste your time? You know, we can still party, we can travel, we can right. hang out, we can do. Something you can like, you can still have their acquaintance. Absolutely, yeah. there's a there's a lot of different ways to have a relationship with people, mm -hmm. but as far as that like committed girlfriend, boyfriend, okay. fiance, husband, wife kind of relationship, right? Um, it would take a really specific person. First of all, they'd have to be so patient with me. Cause I'm, uh -oh. I'm a little nuts too. You know, I just uh -oh. like to have a good time. Yeah. I just like to do crazy. I like to come on, do podcasts with stuff. They can't be intimidated by me hanging out with somebody who looks like I know. you, you know, so, so, it's hard. Yeah. And I think so, actually, I love them too. one of the reasons that I, I thought it'd be cool for us to do a podcast together. Cause we had this little chat mm -hmm. and you know, a lot of girls talk about like, Oh, it's so hard to date as like a hot girl. Like everybody wants a hot girl until it's time to like ha have her doing hot girl shit. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but on this, and I was kind of like, Hey, you know, on the counter side of that, um, every girl says she wants to date a rich guy or a successful guy right. until it's time to be that girl for that successful guy of and course. go in with what that entails. Of course. And so I thought that, I think that's kind of like where this conversation started a little bit. We were talking about uh, the similarities between uh, being a hot girl and a successful guy right. and the challenges right. in, that come from dating. So uh, regardless of even being verified or whatever, like I think successful men are always dealing with um, the what if. Mm -hmm. And just like a hot woman is like, does he really like me for who I am or does he like me because I'm, I'm hot? Yeah, for right. my looks. And a rich guy or a successful guy is always like, does she like me for who I am or does she like me for what I can do for her or what, what I can yeah. give her? So, so you get that a lot. I, yeah, get, I, do, I get I do it. Get that I get a lot. it. Especially you're in LA too. It's LA. So it's a it's very just, superficial well, city. Where, 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 where is it? Miami superficial. New right. York is New York is superficial. Big, all big cities are superficial. All, all let's, big cities. let's face it. And let's even let, listen. Let's face it too. Even <laughs> Fort Wayne, Indiana is superficial. <laughs> uh, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm sure people look. It's part of genetics to for women to be attracted to stability, mm -hmm. and they want a stable, successful man. So that's genetic, and it's uh, genetics for a man. To be to want to meet with an attractive woman, yeah, because that's just how we're, we're programmed. So yeah. I'm not saying these things are bad. No, but no, 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 not You just bad have at all. to be careful, right? You know. So. Yeah, I actually heard um, like a really good saying lately. It's mm. it's pretty much saying that if you're really rich, you don't have real friends. Yeah, and I can I can see that. Yeah. I can see that because yeah. I mean you don't really know if the people are there yeah. for your friendship or yeah. for the benefits yeah. of what you can get. That's true. So I get that. So yeah. with the whole Instagram verified page, did yeah. you just wake up with it? I'm I'm curious. Am I just gonna wake up with my verified page tomorrow? So uh, probably the people who listen to your podcast probably care about the process about getting mm -hmm. verified. Right? Yeah. So yeah, I could mm -hmm. give a little insight on that. So yeah. really, um, the the uh, CEO of Instagram just put out a video of himself actually because so many people. Uh, care so they put so much emphasis on these verified yeah, pages you know right, like right. that blue check is like I, call I know it, blue that blue check is like everything I have a bunch of nicknames for it so I call it like the 33rd degree of like social media masonry like if yeah. it was the Illuminati you know yeah. that's like the 33rd degree <laughs> nobody really knows how you get it you right know? right um and then uh, it's also kind of like the Hollywood star like getting a Hollywood star yeah so it's like you kind of have to like get nominated to like get mm. to that point. Okay. So really what it is, originally, I'll give you like a quick history on the verification process. It was originally to identify uh, the authentic profiles of public figures in media, sports, entertainment, um, people who are like heavenly impersonated. Right, right. Right. So it started kind of as that. It really was never meant to be like a status symbol. Mm -mm. So okay. uh, basically, the way you got it was if you were a politician on a major political party platform, if mm -hmm. you were a musician signed to a major record label, if you were an actor, a recurring actor in a recurring role on a TV show, mm -hmm. uh, they would just automatically give it to you. Right. And that's still kind of how it is, actually. So, um, but then what started happening is people started like paying for them. I know. Is that even stuff. real? So you can actually pay for it? Uh, anybody who says that they can get it for you specifically, like I'll get you a blue check for this much money right. is lying to you. Right. Because there, there used to be a time where there was like these media panels and you could pay and they could sneak you through. Now... Really what it is, is you have to 
prove your notability. Okay. Um, so it's called a notability requirement. And a notability requirement just basically means that uh, people care about you in the press, in the media. Right. And the way that Instagram verifies verifies your notability is basically by Googling you and mm-hmm. looking how many news stories are on there about you. Okay. If you're in 100 news stories and... This is so. This is what my agency does. So my yeah. my company that I run out here is called Glazers Media. We're in West Hollywood. We're Nine Thousand Sunset in the HBO building. Mm-hmm. Uh, what our company actually does is we help creators and people become influencers. We used to call it. We used to say become authorities. Now yeah. everybody wants to be an influencer. Right. So you could be. You don't have to necessarily be like a booty model, like posing with your skinny tee to be an influencer. You could be like. A doctor who wants to be like an influencer to other doctors. Right, right. You could be honestly what I am. I'm kind of like an influencer to other influencers, right? Like, yeah, you are. <laughs> um, like all influencers follow me because they want to know how to make money. They want to know how to get verified. These different things. So I've been like in the game for so long that I can like influence these things, right? Mm-hmm. So basically, uh, what uh, we do is we help you establish what I refer to as a clear claim to fame. Okay. So your clear claim to fame is like why are you notable? Okay. So for you, it would be very easy for me. I would say, well, Mia um, Gray is a Playboy playmate, right? right Playboy right. cover model. Right. That's that's to me is meets like a certain notability requirement. Right. Right. Okay. Now Instagram might not necessarily see just that alone. Right. As they being need a little bit more notability. Than that. But if we, what we do then is we come up with a claim to fame, and then we support it through press and media and news about okay. that. So if when your Playboy cover came out, we did a bunch of press and a bunch of, we reached out to TMZ and all the news outlets Mm -hmm. and wrote about it and they were like, Mia Gray is on the cover of Playboy magazine, social media influencer Mia Gray on the cover of Playboy. And we did a hundred articles about that. When Instagram went to look at it, then that that would basically show them, okay, this is notable. So you you pretty much need credibility. You need other Articles, people. You need other people writing about you. Got it. And that that shows them that if somebody else, if you're writing about yourself, not that credible, and that's a rule to PR. You know, I love public relations. Yeah. I, I've really built a great career around public relations. Um, in the PR world, we always say you can say whatever want you want about yourself, but if somebody else is talking about you, it mm-hmm. has a lot more weight. Of course. So that's how they kind of look at it. Is like, okay, you can talk about yourself being an influencer, being a Playboy cover model, whatever you want it to be, mm-hmm. but who else is saying it? Okay. And then they want high-level authority websites to say it. So, like, um, if if we're talking about the Playboy thing, we'd want to see, like, I don't know, maybe, like, MTV.com, maybe Forbes Magazine, Entrepreneur, Inc. Magazine, uh, Yahoo Entertainment, uh, maybe, like, Hollywood Reporter, Variety. Okay. Like, these are the types of pub- high-level publications that are right. referred to as, like, the trades, the trade publications. Okay, so if you guys need help in verifying your page... <laughs> I can't say, I really, I don't even like helping people verify their page, but what I try to encourage you, people it, to do right. is just become a become verifiable. Right. Because you pay, let's say, okay, so let's say Facebook came out and you want to give, Facebook was the first one to do verify pages, or right. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter actually. So let's say Twitter came out and you paid, whatever, $5,000 to get your Twitter verified. Mm-hmm. But then Facebook came out, mm-hmm. and you don't meet the notability requirement. Right. So now you have to pay another $5,000 to get Facebook verified. Mm-hmm. And then Instagram comes out, and then TikTok, and then there's going to be something else. So are you always going to be, like, chasing this verification Pretty much. fake dragon? Right. Or just do it right, come up with your claim to fame, meet the notability requirement, and then, like, I'm verified on every platform, right? So, like, yeah. Twitter came out, boom, I'm verified on Twitter. Um, then Facebook, I'm verified on Facebook. Then Instagram, I got verified on Instagram. TikTok came out. P- people couldn't believe it. I had 40 followers and a blue check. Right. And I never even posted a content on there. Right. But for me, the notability requirement came from... Uh, I think somebody got shot in the background. <laughs> we're, we're in Hollywood. Um, somebody. It's, you know, I know. I was it, literally just looking happen. at. I was yeah. about to look at the window. Are we okay well, here? Th- that's what's so funny because I, I I moved out of LA like a year ago uh-huh. and I ha- I like sleep with my windows open and there's never a noise <laughs> and then I come back to LA and I'm like in the hotel and I'm like is, is there an apocalypse going on outside like every five minutes you're gonna hear like right. a siren. I mean it like, is Super Bowl weekend. So it is Super Bowl weekend. There's gonna be a lot of sirens. Do you think it's a coincidence Super Bowl weekend and Biden giving the free crack pipes out? I don't know. It's like uh, coincidence or right. Illuminati. I don't right. know. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, let's go back to the yeah. blue tech. Yes. So, so with a verified page, I want to yeah. know if do you get exclusive invites to parties? So it's so funny. <laughs> um, when we, my agency, we used to um, help a lot of influencers get verified. We would actually throw verification parties. 
like when somebody would get verified, like our client would get verified and we get them like a blue check cake. Oh my God. <laughs> we used to do that. We don't do that anymore. But yeah, actually, um, I have been to some pretty decent verified parties. I will say like, I'm even, can I plug one of my sponsors? Yeah, so, please. Um, I really, you should, I'm going to hook you up with it too. Okay. Uh, okay. There's a company called Tri Carrot, the okay. carrot uh, credit card. Okay. And they're amazing. They, they're a credit card just for influencers. So okay. you, they actually use your followers instead of your credit score. What? So if you have like a hundred thousand followers, they give you like this much credit, and if oh, you have wow. like a million followers, they give you like this much credit. Uh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I just did it to support it because I thought the idea was cool. That that the idea is really cool. But the coolest thing about them really is they throw these amazing events, and you have to be a credit card holder. Um, but basically, you have to be a verified influencer to get the credit card, uh -huh. and then you have to have the credit card. And they do these like casino nights, they do like yacht parties, they do. All that sounds fun. Cool that, does, you, that does sound like Illuminati for sure. And, and it's not even <laughs> for, it's not even necessarily like about being exclusive or whatever. I just like to meet other creators. Right. And I'm like, oh, cool. You guys all think like me. We're all going through the same struggle. We're all right. like, oh, you're getting stuck. I get stuck. You know, I like, mean, there's uh, a lot of wonderful people. Absolutely. In the influencer world, really. Absolutely. And influencer is such a broad term, right? So influencers is like musicians, actors, All of them. entertainers. As long as you models. influence a person, mm -hmm. I think I call you influencer. I'm the same way. I, yeah. I think so. it should have a broad definition, mm -hmm. you know? Of course. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I have gotten invited to some cool. Yeah? And probably not as cool as the parties you get invited to, but i probably get a party I, or two. I mean, I've, I've seen him a couple of times in the parties I'm at. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure we're going to uh -oh. the same parties. Uh -huh. <laughs> so... Uh, with the verified page, when did you get it exactly? Like how long ago? Uh, Instagram? Yeah. I got, it's kind of weird you remember these things. I yeah. remember this thing. Oh, yeah. uh, I got it in 2017. 2017. I was one of the first, I was one of the first people to get verified on Facebook. Like oh, ever, really? Like probably first 1,000 people. <laughs> yeah. That's actually where I became. So I really built myself as like an influencer on Facebook originally. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was doing like uh, political videos political commentary, Ooh. neutral political commentary. Okay, I was going to say, this is back in the day when before was, you get uh, canceled. Yeah, I got, actually, so I, this was the, f I don't know, probably 10th time I got canceled, first time on social media. <laughs> uh, I was writing for the Huffington Post. Mm, okay. Uh, the Huffington Post is like a liberal publication, but I was writing like just various articles for business, entertainment, and media section. And I was just contributing, and then Trump ran for, or announced that he was running for president. Mm -hmm. And the Huffington Post put this like memo out, mm -hmm. and they were like, every every writer has to bash Trump, like everybody has to write something bad about him. And I was like, well, I don't really want to bash. You know, I was telling you earlier, I only, I try to only use my superpowers for good. You know, right, like, right. I don't want to bash people. I'd rather just like only write good things. And I was like, so what if I wrote a neutral article about Trump, just like talked about some of the facts mm -hmm. about like how it ties to entertainment or business or yeah. you know, an entertainer uh, running for president, like what that's like, maybe right. compared to Reagan or some other entertainers. And they were like, if you don't write a negative article about Trump, we're deplatforming you. Wow. So they canceled my, they literally pulled all my articles. My articles used to get like one to two million views per article. Yeah. So, uh, and then I basically got pissed off. <laughs> and I went <laughs> on course. Facebook and I started live streaming on Facebook. Yeah. Like all my rants Good. about this stuff. And yeah. I built up like 100K, but like very engaged followers right, on Facebook. Right, like these right. people were like other very angry people with me, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I basically um, uh, dealt with this, and that was kind of my first... And then I did get... So I started getting on the news because of that. Oh. So people, like... Because my page went from, like, 10,000 to, like, 50,000, like, in a week. Mm -hmm. And 50 to 100,000. And people were, like, really going crazy in these comments. Yeah. And the news hits me up, and they're like, can we interview you about your page? So then I started popping up on the news. Right, right. And then uh, right after I was on the news the second time, uh, boom, blue check on my Facebook. Oh, so that's all I have to do. I didn't even submit for it or anything. That's all I have to do. And that was probably like 2014 or 2015. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, same similar thing with Twitter. Yeah. I just was getting more press. I was getting more active on Twitter. Um, boom, blue check. And then Instagram. Uh, that one I actually did have to submit. So you got um, Facebook verified per first, yep. and then Instagram. Yeah. No, Facebook first, then Twitter, then, then Instagram. Instagram, and then got TikTok. Yeah. Okay. Did you notice like a difference, like when it comes to you talking to someone as a verified person? It's so bizarre. Yeah. It's so bizarre. I How feel like there, there there is because I mean yeah. even for me I'm I'm guilty for this too. Yeah. Like I would go on my DM yeah. and I would always read. The one with the blue check. Always, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I'm guilty too. Yeah. But like there has to be a difference for you contacting someone mm -hmm. with that blue 
blue tick. That's yes. What I call it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, there's, I actually, there's very, I never don't get a reply. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right. it's again, like you have to use your superpowers for good. Right? That is like, a superpower. I, I'm just not going to use my like influence to just be able to like pick up all these random girls on yeah. the internet, you know, like, yeah. uh, but, uh, I will tell you like the one time it was really weird. I was at a wedding mm-hmm. and this girl's like introducing me to like, I don't know, like her cousins or something. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you got to meet Vito Blazers. He's verified. Ah. And I was like, oh God. who cares? Like, this is so bizarre. Like, <laughs> I have so many other cooler accomplishments. I've like, heard that so many times, though. <laughs> like, people yeah. would actually introduce yeah. their friends yeah. as verified. Like, yeah. right after the name. Gosh, this it's is like, so interesting. Hey, you know, meet Nicole. She's uh-huh. verified. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's such a big impact in this world that yeah. it's like, oh, okay. It's like a status, like you said. Mm-hmm. I know it didn't start that way, but yeah. it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally refer to this now as, like, verification culture, <laughs> right? Where, like, people just are more obsessed with the outcome of being verified. For me, it's the journey is always the destination. Yeah. Or, like, the destination is the journey, right? Yes, like, it is. So I, lo- I care about, like, the process. Like, when I'm making a TV show or a film, I'm like, okay, what I care about is enjoying the experience. Yeah. Doing the, I don't even watch them half the time. Oh, I like, know. I don't really yeah. care about the final product. It's yeah. like hanging with the people, creating this character, the story, the message. Um, so that to me kind of is the same way with like verification. It's like um, I care about just like being super credible and like coming, like getting my message out there and helping people mm-hmm. with my message and words and work and insp- trying to inspire people or try to make people money or whatever you yeah. know that is. And in the process of that, it's cool to get verified. Of course. But right. I, w- I never, like, I have so many people that hit me up, and I actually just don't even work with them anymore. They're just like, I'll just pay anything to get verified. And I'm like, okay, well, how about we write a book together? Yeah. Like, our company will write a book for you. Why don't we do a TV like, show? Like, let's work for it. Let's yeah. work for it. Let's yeah. just, like, make you verified. Because, I mean, people don't want to work for it. And they're just, they just like, no. want to wake up with that blue tech. And, and, and then, like, what are you going to do with it? You're just going to use it to pick up chicks yeah. and your DMs? That's, oh, my you God. Know. You have no idea how many DMs yeah. in my... Because yeah. there's DMs in my Instagram right. that it would be, like, a non-verified person. Yeah. And there's, like, a long paragraph of uh-huh. why I should talk to them. Yeah. And then verified people would be, it's like, hi. Like, Suck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, like, like yeah. such a little effort. It's yeah. like you're gonna fucking talk to me yeah. because I have a blue check, yeah. and I mean it's so normal these days. I you guess. know? Yeah, I try to. I don't know. It, you know, uh, maybe I'm just kind of old school. So yeah. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for it. I mean, and, you're also yeah. a very down to earth person. You think but so? um, yeah, of oh, course, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> <It's okay. laughs> I think my food is here. Oh, okay, there you go. Knock knock. Are we getting raided? Shit. Is that where the sirens is all? Let me see your green card. <laughs> Hold on one second. Uh, um, yeah. well, as long as you got your vaccination card, I think uh, you're okay. As long as you have that yeah. and a mask to cover your yes, nose. Yes, yes, yeah, two masks. Um, okay. Masks. <laughs> <laughs> like, were there a lot of people that, st- like, tried reaching back out to you now that you have a blue check? I have Like, all the high school friends. Always, like, all the ex-girlfriends are always like, oh, I'm my God, sure. I can't believe... You've bl- you're like you've blown up so big. Like, right. What are you doing? I actually just got booked a cast in a movie off oh. being verified. Oh, are you serious? M- literally, yeah. I, I used to like I um really cool movie too. It was like yeah. all these like UFC fighters and yeah. WWF guys are in it. Yeah. And this girl that um we used to, we were in like some small productions, kind of like Chop Chop style. Yeah. And she was like, oh my god, I haven't looked you up for, for so long, and um I just thought about you the other day, and I typed you in, and she's like, I can't believe you have five hundred thousand followers on Instagram, and you're verified. She's like. I'm uh, part of this uh, movie production. Yeah, I have to get you involved somehow. I'm like, do you want to see my demo reel? Like, do you want to like they don't care. see my acting work? They're like, okay. no, uh, 500k. That'll do pretty good for the project. Like, uh, we'll, we'll figure out how to. <laughs> they get want you publicity. In that. They don't want good film. Absolutely. I so, and I think that hurts you because I feel like you're the type of person that you want work. You want to yeah, put work in it. I do. You know, and I get that about you. Thank you. You know, and. I mean, I would. That would probably suck too. It's like, hey, it you doesn't have really all these suck. Followers. But just imagine if, like, you like put all this effort into like becoming this amazing actress, yeah. and they're just like, ah, oh, bikini. That'll look good on you. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't worry I about the lines. Lot, you know. Yeah. So. I mean, that's I got a lot of offers when, when it comes to filming, and they're yeah. like, hey, have you acted? I mean, I did, actually. Yeah. When I was young, yeah. I acted. No, we acted together. You yeah, were great. Yeah, yeah, It was a great day But outside. they yeah. would ask me all the time. It's like, have you acted? And I, was, oh, I would always say no. I don't know why. But I'm like, well. no, I'm just, I'm just this dumb model. I'm just this dumb Instagram model. Like, they're I'm like, yeah, like, but that's okay. You, you're pretty, and you'll pass. Yeah. It's like, oh. So that's why I was saying. It goes back to the hot girls and successful guys yeah. deal with the same issues. Yeah. So we're all oh, this you're together. Right. Yeah. We're all this it together. There's just it's like it's comparable, right? Because like I, women talk a lot about like uh, female pr- or male privilege, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I I'd like to talk about female privilege on social media, okay? Yeah. Like, so obviously <laughs> you're very lovely, and right. 
Uh, if I looked like you, I'd probably be president of the United States right now. <laughs> and, uh, but I look like me, and I think that like, uh, so I'll meet, I'll meet these girls at these influencer events, right? And they're yeah. like, oh, well, I have 2.5 million. And I'm like, yeah, well, look at your look at your booty. Like, look how yeah. good you look on social right. media. I'm like, try getting 500K looking like this. I'm like, that is takes some work. So I'm like, that is the social I don't media. Think, I don't think Vito sees his <laughs> real self because, I mean, look oh, at him. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Single brother. guy, uh -huh. down to earth. Just, I'm just, you Down know, to party, down to work. I definitely mean, down to party. Really, <laughs> it's really hard to find a guy like that that can balance work yeah. and party. Thank you. Yeah. I've been doing it for a long time. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so let's yes. let's talk about why you're single then. Like, so, I know you said yeah. by choice, yeah. and I know you said you're focusing on work. Yeah. Um, are you dating at all? Or you are know, you I just like to go out. I've been, you know, I'm occasionally in, like, uh, some, like, open relationships sometimes. I just don't like to lead people on. Mm -hmm. So You don't want to give them 100% if you can't. Yeah, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm just very honest. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, to be honest, I, here's the thing I feel about honesty, right? So, mm -hmm. like, a lot of people lie because they feel that, like, the truth is harder to deal with than, like, the... Than reality right so yeah. um for me though i like to just have the data mm -hmm. so if if you're gonna sit here and say oh i'm single and yeah i absolutely i'm looking for something blah 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 and i'm like okay that's cool but then you're really married mm -hmm. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be like processing something and maybe i'm gonna be like passing up somebody else who's good for me because right. i'm like oh no i want to pursue this but in your mind you know that th that's like not the reality so I'd rather just know the data and right. know the reality of things and be like, and also be real. Mm -hmm. So if some girl's like, oh yeah, well like, you know, girls ask me all the time, they're like, would you actually date me? Mm. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, wh wh how would my life be better dating you mm -hmm. than my amazing life not dating you already? Yes, so right. Like, I have all my space. I have like everything going for me. I really like love my job. I love all my friends. I don't meet, I don't have like a lot of like, unfulfilled needs yeah so yeah. for um for me to like especially it's so risky for guys right for me to like risk half my money and like get married and it's like what are you going to bring to the table right right so i kind of came up with this little formula and i'm just kind of like flowing with it and i'm keeping my like options open because mm -hmm. it's the thing i have so many guy friends that just date because they just want somebody to have sex with or they just like can't be alone or right. whatever I think there's so much power in a man who can be alone with his own thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then I've just gotten so good at it. Now I'm like, okay, now I'm like alone all the time. Maybe I need to like <laughs> go out a little bit. <laughs> um, but really like with uh, women, uh, it's or with some of these men that have to be with women all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, what they're doing is they're like blocking out the space for like the perfect person to come. Yeah. Because if you're just like settling over like for whoever's easiest, right. then you're always going to kind of be um, with somebody that's like, lowering your vibration right of course so i have to like okay so right you're in a two-seater car if i only have two seats and i've got a person that i don't really like in that seat and then a person i do like mm -hmm. wants to sit there well the seat's taken right but if the that's seat's good, open that's a good thing yeah you know and then yeah, i meet I somebody that. it's like you got to keep the space open so i'm keeping right. the energy open i'm not against meeting somebody um and i've created this like little math problem mm -hmm. and i think and and i mean you're in an amazing relationship that mm -hmm. i like amazing. i really really respect it and yeah. I, I think it's so cool and yeah. i try to only be around or like take advice from people that are like where i want to be mm -hmm. so if i want to make a lot of money i take advice from like a rich guy yeah if i want to be in like if i want to be in a good relationship i'll take advice from somebody whose relationship i, I respect you know right that makes sense so that's why i'm on here talking about yeah. relationships yeah. with you because i have a lot of respect for yours thank you um but uh yeah so um i created this little formula and mm -hmm. basically i think it's um and tell me if i'm wrong okay tell me so i think a foundation of a relationship starts with about 30% mutual attraction. Mm -hmm. Starts with physical attraction. Always. You, you have to like... It, it's you, always, it always starts that way. Okay. You have to be attracted to each other physically. You, you have, have to like to. having sex with each other. Like that's, that's the first thing you see though. First. Yeah, right. But not everything, but it's right. a foundation. Right. If, if I'm, you're not attracted to somebody, like why even go right. beyond that? Right, exactly. Okay? So you for 30% attraction, then 30% um, communication. Mm-hmm. So you have to be able to communicate. So you speak two different languages. I actually, I used to um, have a girlfriend that I really liked, but her accent was just very annoying to me. <laughs> and I just it was like, I can't do this for the rest of my Are life. Are you like, serious? I swear to God. <laughs> it wasn't even the accent. It was what it was, was the, um, <laughs> the way she would word things. Yeah. Specifically one thing that would drive me crazy she would say, are you joking me? Instead of, are you kidding me? Oh. I don't know why. I just couldn't. I was like, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> I'd rather be dead than hear it's that like, one more time. shoot me, please. Yeah, I was like, you know, I'm like, you've been in America longer than me. Like, uh, you've been here for like 25 years. Why are you still saying, are you joking me? Like, you're not even trying. <laughs> you're <joking. laughs> 
<laughs> so um, in retrospect, maybe I was a little hard on her, but um, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> um, maybe she learned her lesson. I don't know, but no, she's probably I don't know. Have maybe you connected she, with her? She maybe she learned her way. Maybe she thinks I'm joking her. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. You know? <laughs> I mean, so, I, feel, I I can't even yeah. see you saying something mean in a mean way. I can't say anything in a mean way. Yeah. I say it in like a joking way. Yeah, but it's like my, yeah, but, my but truth, you're serious. Right? Yeah, yeah. I am. I'm like, yeah, but really, like, I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> so she's like laughing, and she's like, "Do I laugh or cry?" Like, right, right. Like, <laughs> she's doing both. So, so, um, All right, 30% attraction, 30% communication. Yes, 30%. This is where I lose the girls, okay? So okay. I've had a lot of people I've been attracted to. I've had a lot of people that I've had wonderful communication with. Mm -hmm. Then I think it's 30% mutual goals. Okay. So mutual goals could be as simple as you both want kids. Mm -hmm. You both want to get married. Maybe you want to travel first. Maybe you're both focused on your careers. One person wants a kid and the other person doesn't. Where is that yeah, going to go? Yeah, that's not going to go there's anywhere. A, there's a def def definite ending inside. Right. Right. Um, so, and then I think it's 10% magic. Mm -hmm. Timing, um, being in the right place at the right moment. Yeah. Um, so mutual attraction, being able to communicate, uh, having the same goals. And the same goal doesn't have to be like, oh, you want to be on TV and I want to be TV. Oh, yeah. This, oh, yeah. The goal could be like, no, we just want to. Like a like, long term. Long term. Yeah. yeah like, okay, we have that. We want to travel for a couple of years. We're, we're both going to focus on our careers. We're going to make money, buy a house. Like, um, I think the most important part is do you want kids or not? I think, I that's, think that's number one. one. That's number one. one. Mm -hmm. um, where you, where do you want to reside? Yeah, that's a good one yeah. too. You yeah. know, and just life goals. Life you know goals, what I mean? Yeah. If you if you don't want to work at all yeah. for the rest of your life, or if you want to work all the time for the rest of, uh, of your life, I have some I big like goals. Yeah, and it's very hard for girls to understand that, and they like always pretend. Mm -hmm. It kind of like kind of like everybody wants a hot girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they're Until like they're like, oh, you're gonna wear that out. Oh, 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 well, why was every guy at the bar looking at you, you yeah. know? And it's the I same think thing. that's what, that's actually what I love about my husband. I can yeah. literally. <laughs> no, it's amazing. I can literally wear yourself. anything. Yeah. And he'd be like, is this too much? It's like, yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, because you if you're secure, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. So on the, on the opposite side of that, with the mutual goals, I tell girls, I'm like, look, I want to be in 100 movies. Yeah. That's my goal. I want to write at least one best-selling book. Right. I want to change the world for make the world a better place. Yeah. I like to party hard. I like to work <laughs> yeah, hard. Do. I yeah. like to travel hard, you know? Right, right. Um, so I want to do all that stuff. And they always are like, oh, I'm down. I want to do that too. I want to, mm. I want everything. But then they see what it takes to the do that. The hard work. Yeah. And here's, here's literally the progression of like every relationship I've ever been in. Girl tells me, sells me the dream and says, I'm down. I'm down to be a partner. I want to help you. I'm going to be so supportive. And then it, and I'm going to be like a 50-50 partner with you. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. Then it goes from that to like, holy shit, this is a lot of work. <laughs> this <laughs> holy is shit, a lot where are you work. at at 2 a.m.? Yeah, this I'm is a lot of work. in the office. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of work. It's too much. I want you home for dinner at 6. I want this and that. And it's like, and I'm like, okay, well, I'll tell you what. You don't got to be 50-50 partner. I'll be a hundred percent. Just don't make my life harder because I can handle. Just the don't expect me. Yeah. Just don't yeah. don't like uh, be negative to me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like just be like, hey, you're doing a good job. You're, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm sitting at home just chilling, but right. I'm I'm rooting for you. You know, that's all I need. I'd right. be happy with that. Right. Right. But then it and then it goes from that to be, them being like sitting at home and me like being out hustling and getting things done mm -hmm. to them being becoming a hater, mm -hmm. and then they're then I'm and then once they hit the hater stage, I'm like. Uh, I don't need to take care of somebody to have like negative energy in my house. Right. And then once they hit the hater stage, that's when they got to go. Yeah. So I'd love to meet somebody that had like a lot. And here's a funny thing. So I've made this like challenge with my friend who's also verified. Okay. And he dates like he abuses his blue check to just like pick up girls. And it's, I like, can see so that. Sup. Also, he's one of those sup. He's such sup. a simp in my opinion. You <laughs> or know? like just like a. Like a waving emoji. Oh my god, he's on like every dating app with like screenshots of his like Blue chat? verified oh profile. I'm like, dude, just, I've never been on a dating app ever in my life. Can you believe that? Whoa. Never really? been on one dating app, no. So you just believe in organic meeting? Well, here's the thing: is like, I can, I can talk to somebody online. You can talk to anyone, really. I, I feel think, like yeah. you have that. You have that person. <laughs> oh, you mean me specifically? Yeah, yeah, you specifically. I feel like you can just be anywhere, yeah. and you can have an open conversation yeah. with anybody, no matter what personality they have. Thank you. You know, I and I feel like thing. that's why yeah. you're not in a dating site. Yeah, because I feel like you just go in Walgreens. Yeah, absolutely. And start talking no, to honestly, random. I've yeah. dated girls that I just like met at the grocery store. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like oranges? Factory. I like this yeah. orange too. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, so you like oranges? What are you doing later? You know. I too like citrus fruits. You know. Right. So. Um, yeah, so I, I never do the dating apps because I could spend like a year talking to you, but 
But I know in like the first 10 seconds if I like want to have sex with somebody or not. <laughs> yeah. You, know, it's <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you can pictures and filters and this and that, but it's like and you meet and I'm like, oh God, we have no chemistry. Why did I just waste all that yeah. bandwidth on you? you oh know? God. So, you know, time is the most valuable asset. It is. The minutes go by slow, but the years go by fast. And uh, to me, I just don't like to waste time. Mm -hmm. So that's why honesty helps. Mm -hmm. And uh, being available helps. Yeah. Like protecting, I'm all about protecting your energy, you know? So oh yeah, same here. Energy. It's so important. Mm -hmm. And then basically, um, I would love to meet somebody that had like, they don't have to like have exactly as much as I have going on, mm -hmm. but I just want somebody who has their own thing going on. Yeah. So anyways, the reason I was ripping on my friend right now who does these oh, yeah, blue checks all over the, the dating sites tech. is because I said, you know what? you should do I'm like you get s I'm like you're you're wasting all your sexual energy on all these girls right mm -hmm. and they're like none of them are good enough for you they don't have anything going for them right and I said what we should do is make a challenge where we only date verified girls <laughs> I was gonna ask you that too I said as were well, you were <laughs> yeah I want to know if <laughs> yeah. you're you're verified like do yeah. you just do you, are you attracted to verified beach more I would say if just because they you know that they're not catfishing I guess so the reason I like the idea of like dating verified girl, like verified people dating each other. First of all, at least I know they have some ID. That's right. like a first step, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, second of all, it's like, um, I know that they have something going. Hold on, the cops are <laughs> getting rolled on. We're gonna need to hide Vito a little bit longer. <laughs> it's all good, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming for me, I didn't have my mask on at Walmart. Did Walgreens. you tell the cops that he's not here? <laughs> that was funny. Nine? It's funny because Walmart's like the first place to drop the mask mandate, and I'm like, that's the only place I actually want to wear a mask at. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, anyways. Okay, uh, verified chicks. Verified girls, yes. Uh, so what I like about them is that they've actually like, uh, most of them, right, okay. have gone through some kind of process where they've actually had to like do something where, and they're putting themselves out there so they know what it's like to be like a public figure. They're a to hustler. To be like ripped on the, in the internet. Right. You can, I, they I, have thick skin. I literally call it like dating civilians. That yeah. just sounds so like egotistical, but I'm like, it's okay. you date a civilian and like they can't handle negative they comments. They don't know, yeah. They don't they know, know how to, I get like every day somebody is saying, that's why I like to joke around about myself and right. I like joke about my, I'll lead with it because I'm like, I'm going to take the power away from these haters. Same. Yeah. I'm going to acknowledge all the things that I know are not perfect about <laughs> right. me. Right. And then if you want to rip on them, I've already ripped on them. Yeah. So, like, I already started it. I already started I it. I started so. it for you. What are you going to do about it? You yeah. Know? So <laughs> I've just been conquering negativity for so long online. It is what it is. But um, it's I like the verified girls because they're used to it. Mm -hmm. So we're, we can, like, it's a mindset, right? It like, is. It's, it's not just about being verified, but it's like they put themselves out there. They know how to create. They're creating something usually. Um, they're getting coverage that people are writing about them and they're, they under, at a minimum, at a minimum, they understand yeah. what I'm trying to do, Yeah. you know? And that's really important because that comes down to the mutual goals mm -hmm. would. So it's not that an un unverified girl wouldn't have the same mutual goals as me, yeah. but it's just much more likely that a girl who's verified will would have, have the same, at least similar mutual goals. No, that makes sense. So I think that's the kind of the psychology behind it, yeah. but I would, I would actually would love to date a girl. I like to build people up. Mm. So if I actually have this thing, I, I realize I really am attracted to funny girls. Yeah. Like girls that are actually funny. Yeah. I mean, you're funny. That's why. You think I'm funny? Yeah. Thank you're you. You're really funny. So I'm saying, uh -huh. like, talking to a, someone yeah. that does not have a sense of humor. Oh, gosh. It happens a lot. I yeah. mean, I'm, how is that going to go? Obviously, really? I can, like, offend people on accident, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, it happens. I feel a like lot. they'll give this blank uh, yeah, face, I, I like, and then that's pretty much your cue to leave. I'll it's make, like, like a great joke, and I'll be like, all right, I'll just uh, show myself out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they're just, like, looking at me like, that's what. racist. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, first of all, Islam isn't a race, you know? Mm -mm. So, or something like that, you know? Right. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I feel like, yeah, somebody with a great sense of humor is so important. Um, and I, re I just realized, I was like, I really am attracted to very funny girls. Mm -hmm. And I met this girl recently who's really funny. Okay. And she's she's pretty big online. Like, maybe she's got maybe, like, two million followers online. Okay. All of comedy. Yeah, yeah. And she's not verified. Okay. But I would be, like, super interested in, in her. And I right. could even, like, if we were on the same page, I would, I could easily, like, help her get verified, you know? Of course, you know? right, right. But... Uh, then you get to this, like, not that I think this is about her, right? she, she's a sweetheart, but, um, you know, there's a lot of girls out there. Again, it's like, oh, could this guy get me verified? Should I just hang out with him because of that? Ugh. I don't know. It's a social currency. I swear that's not why I'm hanging out with you. I know. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, part whatever. of the reason why, but I mean, I could help you. I think you're cool. Like, no, I love helping people. Like, I want to help people. I was actually thinking about going to the Super Bowl game, just like stripping, like in the middle. That then I'll be you, in the news. That would get you the news. Yeah. Yeah, that would get I'm you the news. And I'll embarrass myself, but you know what? I'm going to have that blue tech. Who's the girl that licked the toilet seats? And the tick toilet mm, seats like yeah. challenge? <laughs> I don't think I can do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to the Super Bowl and run <laughs> naked. Yeah, you're like, oh, run naked or yeah. lick a toilet. I don't know. Right. Well, I feel like that's the easiest yeah. way to be verified. 
It just embarrass yourself embarrass with a yourself, lot of yeah. media. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't mind that. I embarrass myself every time anyway. Go perform for the cameras. That's what they do. <laughs> you just got to be where the, new, where the cameras are at. I don't know. Um, it just, yeah, it's, I think for you, yeah. I would just, yeah, you could do like a couple covers and then... Um, you know, I don't know, scandals are really good for I feel like, honestly, Instagram is really hard on glamour models. Yeah, because there's just, uh, who's your who's your modeling agency, Instagram? Mm, you know, yeah, like, you've heard I that know. They're just joke. so hard with them. Like, yeah. I feel like it's so much harder for us to actually mm-hmm. be verified than oh. just a normal. Okay, how could we verify? Neutrogena I could, I could, I'll tell you exactly how we could get you verified yeah. right now. All right, this I is got it already. Do. Super Bowl, psh. That would, that would be, that'd be one hack, for sure. <laughs> Uh, the another alternative would be if that doesn't work, uh, <laughs> they get you before you get out of a locker room. Right, right. I would say uh, telling, like, writing a book about your life story. Okay. I'm sure you have a very interesting story. Yeah. Sharing your story, writing a book. Um, you know, our company helps people uh, put their stories together into books okay. using a pretty simple formula. So you could write a book, um, and then put your book out, and being an author, and then do all the press around your book and your story. That find makes some sense. way to help people that would get you verified yeah okay um get in, maybe you would be interested in like uh doing some kind of role and like like recurring role and like mm-hmm. some kind of reality show that would get you verified yeah and you've got the look and you've, yeah. you've got the style and i can the tell you a reality tv show so i'd um, be the bitch all the time yeah i'm just kidding and actually maybe even I'm like a, one. you know your podcast like if you want took it like one level further and made it more into like a talk show format yeah um get it on like streaming vod that yeah. would get, and do the press right right and then it's like talk show host you know yeah. Uh, Mia Gray. Well, what, well, when I get really serious about this verified page, yeah. I know you don't offer that. Yeah. I'm gonna get you that verified yeah. page, but yeah. I know you help people how to yeah. get there. I mean, and basically, that's, just that's what I explain. Much what you do. Yeah. yeah. Like we would either write you a book, we'd help mm. you produce a show, we'd help you get on a show, okay. and then we would do all the press around it. Okay. And eventually, uh, if you if you stick with it and keep doing it, within a couple months, you should get verified. Or just run in the Super Bowl. Or just run naked through the Super Bowl and become. A I mean, what's the what's the what? What am I gonna What am I gonna lose by just trying? Who's gonna stop you? Who's gonna stop <laughs> you? You gotta like oil yourself up so they're like you're just like yeah. squeezing just out. Just wear you know, yeah. the underdog like you know jersey and oh. just psh, come on. Everyone's gonna love me. I'm wearing the underdogs. You know who's the underdog? The who's the underdog? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, this shows how much I know about sports. <laughs> Is that funny? I don't Thank know. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I probably know all the cheerleaders and none of the players. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> did you see him yesterday? They're I so did, hot. actually, yeah. They're yeah, so hot. Really I was, like, rooting there. for them. Yeah. There's so many girls looking at them, and, yeah. like, they're like, oh, what is that? And I'm just yeah. like, oh, my God. So yeah, no. I don't, I'm not a hater. I, I can appreciate all kinds of beautiful Same people. here. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why you have to hate. Okay. Yeah. So before we close the show, okay. I asked the audience for Ooh. an advice to ask you. Oh, people. cool. Yeah, they're pretty fucking funny, actually. Are they? There's some of them that's so not appropriate, so we're going to skip that. Uh-oh. I'm going to text you later okay. what they are. Yeah, I want to hear that. But I'm going to – there's two. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> one is would you date would you ever date a girl that is unemployed and homeless homeless mm-hmm. like not homeless homeless but she just lost like, her home and maybe she like lives with her parents or something maybe or Can maybe like her? maybe like she just lost her house from a divorce or something how's that would i date a girl that doesn't have, have a job a home? unemployed no job and, and no home, home? yeah She's pretty. She's funny. She'd have to be really funny. Yeah, she's funny. <laughs> she's pretty. Yeah, she'd have to be really funny. I would never say never to anything because every you know everybody. So many people have helped me on my journey. I've never yeah. had an easy thing. Like I've actually had to like stay with friends. Actually, how I ended up in California four years ago mm-hmm. went completely broke. I was two hundred grand in debt with legal fees. Yeah. Um, and I had a friend who was like, "Hey, I know you're going through a rough time. Come stay in my guest house in yeah. Newport Beach." Yeah. And I stayed with them for six months. I got back on my feet. I turned my life around. Aww. That was like four years ago. Yeah. So without mercy and help, yeah, who are we, right? Yeah. But uh, would I date? Maybe. Yeah. I'd have to see a picture. I don't know. I heard you talking about headphones. It reminds me of the most re- one of the most recent times I got canceled <laughs> on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> the flight attendant's walking through the hallway, and she's like, do you want some headphones? And I was like, how'd you know my name was phones? Oh, my God. Are you Anyways, serious right yeah. now? Can't say that to fly <laughs> Okay, so you would have to see a picture. I'm just kidding. She's no. funny. I mean, she's really funny, humbling, yeah. n- great human being. It's just yeah. she's in a bad place. So would I date her? Actually, I'm just going to say straight up no. But mm-hmm. I would be her friend, and I would guide her. And I know I would, you would. I would help them, I know for you sure. would, yeah. Um, but I would not date her. Okay, yeah, no. yeah. I would not date somebody that doesn't have... That's I good. get it. I just... Because they're going through, like, a karmic process in their mm-hmm. life. And that's not on the karmic journey that I'm on in okay. the moment. Um, but I would definitely help them mm-hmm. however I could, and I'd be their friend. And if they got their shit together, and I saw somebody who went from being homeless mm-hmm. to, to 
really getting on their feet on their yeah. feet and yeah. doing it right I would be more likely to want to date somebody that makes sense I'd yeah. rather I'd rather date somebody who was homeless and then build something out of themselves mm -hmm. than date somebody who always had it easy yeah self-made so, yeah I'd rather have somebody self-made than yeah, yeah. So, I get that yeah, I would date yeah well like this that. question says I yeah. hope he says no <laughs> <laughs> Why? They just want to cancel me. I'm pretty They're sure. Like, no, no, no. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure list. maybe he's talking yeah. about himself and he doesn't want to feel guilty That's about not eat. wanting to date. Oh, someone. I, see, I see. So he's like, oh. I, hope I thought he, he was asking that. if I would date him if he was homeless. No. Like, That's a hard no. Not you, boo. <laughs> 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 All right. The yeah. next one is yes. it's from a female. Mm. And it's pretty much, she's pretty much saying that she doesn't believe that she needs to pay for a meal, a dinner yeah. date. I'm down with that. Every time. She's 100 percent right. She should. I've never let a girl pay for dinner ever in my life. Okay. I actually think it's like completely demasculating. Yeah. Uh, I was actually talking about that. I, w I just had a, d a dinner with this beautiful girl the other night, and mm -hmm. she was like, uh, um, she's like, yeah, she's like, I'll, I'll split it with you. And I was yeah. like, I'm like looking at her, and I'm like, your hair looks like it costs like five hundred dollars. Oh. Your face. You're one you of those. Like you pay attention. Makeup. It's so expensive. I'm you like, see yeah. my Botox right now. I well, I, I can't tell. So they did a great job. Uh, <laughs> it's really expensive to be a girl. I'm yeah. I'm so happy yeah. that yeah. guys like you yeah. actually pay attention yeah. because I swear to God, as a girl, yep. hair, yeah, nails, yeah. Botox, fillers, everything, the dress, nail, like, the the shoes, everything. Nails every two yeah. weeks. I mean, really. I'm looking at this girl. She's got like two thousand dollars invested in herself to be at that dinner with me. Yeah. look at her best yeah and she's blessing me with her beautiful female energy yeah and the least i could do is pay for the dinner yeah i i totally agree with that 100 percent. i actually and i have another one uh, that i tell all my guy friends and all my like uh, younger clients that i mentor yeah i say if there is a girl at the table i don't care if it's 10 guys and one girl you always order dessert because every girl wants dessert, but not every girl's gonna ask for it. Right. And it doesn't matter if they say no ten times. Yeah. Order the dessert and they'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, yeah. And pay for the dessert. I, I yeah. would always say no to the dessert, but yeah. if the dessert is in front of me, I'm eating it. You're eating it. So yeah. it's like, who doesn't love dessert? I mean, obviously, I love dessert <laughs> too much. So it's like <laughs> Chicago <laughs> so, body. Chicago body, baby. That's how I roll. It's you know, who wants to like lay on rock hard abs all night? It's like oh, when you could just uh, have this Tempur Pedic love fluff right. going for you right now. I mean, you know? who it's wants like, a really hard pillow? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just yeah, it sounds terrible. It sounds like jail. <laughs> Literally, that's the definition of jail. So. Right. Okay. All Anyways. right, our time is up. Yes. I just want to thank. Give thanks to Vito Glazer oh again for being a guest in my podcast. Oh my God, I love him to death. He's like literally the Thank most you. down to earth. And I know right now you're trying to protect your energy, yeah. trying to you know keep that space yeah. for the right girl. Yeah. But honestly, if you guys score this man, oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, you guys like, are. You might get a blue check. Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely not. You're definitely not. Don't even, don't even inbox me for that. You can get a green check. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Um, is there anything at all that you're working on or upcoming that we oh want to look out for? Ooh, we have so much good stuff coming out. I have um, we got three movies coming out this year. Five okay. books for clients. Okay. I don't want to name drop them yet. Okay. Um, until they're in uh, post production and okay. they're ready to go. Okay. Uh, but I would love to encourage people uh, to come check out Instagram. Mm -hmm. Come grab me on Instagram at Vito Glazers. Uh, head of my website vetoglazers.com uh, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of links on there how we can work together um, we can help you write a book we can help you do a, a film reality show um, grow up blow up your Instagram using celebrity collaborations and giveaways like um, a lot of great stuff that we can do for you and I'd love to uh, just collaborate with any influencers who are looking to do stuff I think you and me should do um, some more work oh together, we are so. we're gonna talk for sure yeah it was such an amazing set uh, such a so grateful to be here and uh, Thank here's you. cheers to uh, cheers on the rocks. thanks again yeah. for coming thanks and for I'll see me. you guys on the next episode of keep it on the rocks thank you so much Mwah. thank you